Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, so today we are going to talk about our last trip to Yerkot. As you already know from our last video that we have recently visited to Yerkot. Uh, so Yerkot is a beautiful hill station in Tamil Nadu which is about 180 kilometers from Bangalore. And for people who are staying in Bangalore, Yerkot would be an ideal getaway for a weekend. So in this video, we are going to share our experience from our trip and also uh, we'll be sharing some mistakes that we have done so that if you are planning your ear cord trip, you can keep those in mind. Let's dive into the discussion and let's get started. The most important point is weather. Yerkot is a hill station and the weather condition here are completely unpredictable. As the time when we visited, the, there was a cyclone alert a week back and we thought that the weather conditions would be fine by now. But to our surprise, the weather was completely rainy and there was a lot of fog. Due to this, it caused a lot of disruptions during our whole trip, but we enjoyed the whole weather completely. But that would not be true for each and every individual visiting this beautiful hill station. If you are planning to go to Yerkot and you have a hotel booked, then uh, just call the resort just a day or two days back uh, just to check the present condition of the weather so that uh, you don't have to go through the same pain like we did. Uh, so there's a small story behind it. Uh, the resort that we booked was a little far away from the main city center and because of the bad weather there was no electricity in that resort or any other resort uh, after a radius of 3 km. The resort folks called us and asked us to cancel and they gave us a refund. So that is something you need to keep in mind before you visit the hotel itself and always 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 don't pay for the hotel in advance so we booked a resort uh, from Guay Vivo and uh, unfortunately as I said the resort uh, asked us to cancel and then we had to find for another place to stay uh, and when we reached it was completely foggy so uh, I mean and that it was a bit problematic to find a new place still we have looked for couple of hotels and none of the hotels were up to the mark like how they have uh, shared their pictures uh, of the hotel in uh, other i mean in booking applications um, it was nothing like that uh, so i suggest uh, if you are if it is possible don't try to pay the resort in advance go there check the rooms if you like then only pay but if it is a very renowned resort uh, like for example there is a resort named starling air Court, which is very much well known so if you are uh, going with those kind of resort that is fine but if it is not something very famous then please don't book it in advance Yerkot is a hill station and you should definitely keep warm clothes and I would suggest to carry umbrella or raincoat because of unpredictable weather of Yerkot. If you are planning to go to Yerkot with your own vehicle then it's very much important for you to know where the petrol bunk or air uh, facilities are there in Yerkot. So for us uh, we just saw one petrol bunk in the city um, and also there was uh, no air available in that petrol bunk so make sure uh, you fill your petrol uh, well from Bangalore if you are planning uh, to go from Bangalore and after going there uh, there are I think some local shops who will help you just in case of emergency who can just help you with the air there's a pointer you should keep in mind as this is a famous hill station but this doesn't have lot of restaurants at the city center we found a couple of good restaurants but if you are staying away from the city you must check with the resort and make sure that they have a restaurant and it must be functioning as well uh, Yerkot has multiple beautiful viewpoints and uh, 
we visited couple of them but due to fog uh, the view was not that much clear in many of the places our first point was a yerkot lake um, it was completely foggy when we reached there uh, so uh, there was no boating or nothing uh, happening there and then our second point was a place called lady sit which actually was a beautiful point uh, we saw beautiful sunset there and the view from there is also just amazing you can just uh, go there in the evening and enjoy the view and there is a famous rose garden but you should enquire with the people who are visiting if there are flowers blossoming inside the rose garden because when we reached there we enquired with some folks and they said they have just planted the new roses the ride to yerkot is very nice so there is one uh, point called 32 kilometers uh, loop road uh, which comes when you are entering to yerkot that uh, ride is just amazing this 32 kilometer stretch of loop road is just wow this road goes through the hilly regions and you can just see the clouds floating around you there's an another point called pagoda point and the view from there is 270 degrees of plain and beautiful yerkot but when we visited that point was also covered with the fog unfortunately we could not see much we just clicked some photos and we had some hot corn and uh, we just came back after that there's a beautiful waterfalls somewhere around 6 to 7 kilometers away but don't quote me on that it's also one of the beautiful points but we could not visit that uh, so the thing is uh, that probably because all the places were full with the fog uh, then at the end we just lost interest it also started to rain and uh, we were getting drenched all the time so we just uh, skipped rest of the points uh, whatever we uh, whatever points we already visited we came back to Bangalore with those memories point number seven e-pass so during this covid situation most of the states have made sure that you have a e-pass in order to visit that particular state same happened with Tamil Nadu even though we procured a e-pass before visiting nobody did actually check the e-pass on our way but we suggest always keep an e-pass because it would actually ease your trip and the link of the e-pass will be provided in the description link with this we come to an end of our video if you have any question about uh, year caught trip then you can ask us in the comment section we'll be waiting for your question also please subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram and please like this video and uh, we'll be uploading our Vine Art series soon. Please stay tuned to our channel and stay healthy, stay safe. Bye-bye.